In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to find the point of intersection of two straight lines by graphing. We have two equations that define two lines, and you'll notice that the equations are both in standard form. And what that means is that both the x and the y are on one side exclusively. Now, instead of using a table of values to find out points for x and y, what we can do is we can change both of these equations so that it's in slope y-intercept form. And slope y-intercept form is when it's in the y is equal to mx plus b format. The reason why y is equal to mx plus b format is helpful is because it, it allows us to graph something without having to use a table of values. Let me show you what I mean. I'll start off with the first one, and what I'll do is I'll isolate for y. So I'll write it out right here for you to see clearly. Negative 1. And what I'll do is I will place it in this format by isolating for this. Negative 1 minus 2x. Now, so far, this is not in this particular format. All we have to do is bring this there and bring that there. We end up with y is equal to negative 2x minus 1. I'll do the same thing for this equation. x minus y is equal to negative 5. And once again, I'll bring this x over and I end up with negative y is equal to negative 5 minus x. You'll notice that the y is accompanied by this negative. And we need to get rid of that negative 1 by dividing every component by negative 1. And that will ensure that this y is negativeless. y is equal to 5 plus x. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 is positive 5. And these two give you a positive term as well. I'll rearrange this so that the x term is first. Now you have two fresh equations that are in slope y-intercept form. Now I said that when they are in this format, they can be easily graphed without a table of values. Let me show you how. Now I have dedicated a video to showing four different examples, but in case you haven't seen that video, here's how you do it. This will be your M and this will be your B. Now take a look at the template. The M is always connected to the independent variable. In our case, it's negative 2. And the B value, which represents your y-intercept, is always the constant. It's the one that does not have the a variable. Now, it's significant to point out your M and your B because your B will be your starting point. In our case, B is negative 1. So we'll start at the y-intercept of negative 1. There you have it. And your M, which in our case is equal to negative 2, will be your starting point. Oh, sorry, will be your stepwise pattern. Every number can be represented as a fraction if you put it over 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over 1 because negative 2 over 1 is the same thing as negative 2. And the reason why I do that is because now I know what my rise is and I also know what my run is. What this means is that from this point you're going to rise negative 2 and run once to the right. Rise of negative 2, meaning you go down 2, and you run once. This is positive, so you go to the right. And you can stop right there. You don't need to create more points. But just to be accurate, since we are graphing, you would have to go again twice down and over 1. Twice down and over 1. And similarly, if we started up here, you go twice down and over 1. So it doesn't hurt to put as many points as possible when it comes to using graphing as a way to find the point of intersection. Similarly, I'm going to use the color blue for this one. We start at positive 5, and our slope will be 1. Don't make the mistake of saying it's nothing. That's your m value. And your m value is going to be represented as a fraction. So instead of 1, we'll make it 1 over 1. We have a rise, and we have a run. So we'll start off by plotting our y-intercept at 5. And the slope will be 1 over 1, which means that we'll go up once and over 1, go up once and over 1, go up once and over 1. And since we are going by 1 and 1, 
we know we'll have a point here, 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 and here. Wonderful. So what we can do now is we can connect these points. So I'll start with the green dots. I'll do my best. We would have a point right there, and that seems to be our point of intersection. And there you have it. And similarly, the blue dots would be connected with a line. And your point of intersection, your break-even point would be right there. The coordinates for that point seem to be negative 2 and positive 3. So there you have it. That is how to use graphing to find the point of intersection of two lines. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.